one. Just a fraction too far. Might still be able to take the yellow and get onto the two reds, the right side of the table. But it's awkward queuing. <coughs> if the white pulls up a couple of inches short of that, he can take yellow or brown and get them into the reds. Can't do it. Sean Murphy won. Pushing the yellow safe as a little bit of insurance. <laughs> Leading as he is by 20 points. This red will go close to the other corner pocket. <laughs> Sean sacrificed a good safety, pushing the yellow safe. He left a straightforward escape for Marco there. <coughs> Not interested in the difficult red, the right side of the table. Oh. That's okay. Mark of Foo, four. Much better in the pocket than hitting the knuckle and coming back towards pink and red. Needs a good pot, but he would need a favourable cannon on the pink. <laughs> Don't know if he can avoid the pink if he rolls it. This is a chance. I say it's a chance because he's knocked the pink towards the pocket. If Sean can get a good angle on the pink, he can develop the reds. And the one the right side of the table is on. It's not a bad chance, this. All the body cannon now. He's got enough angle to screw over and disturb the black and reds. It's all about the pace and all about a little bit of good fortune to develop them. Well, it looked apparent to Gooseberry that he would develop both reds. Seven. But he's developed only one. by 23. Played it well. <laughs> Eight. If he can roll the pink in, drop on this red, he will need red and pink to leave Marco needing snookers. It's been a superb final, not the highest quality, but the tension has been unbearable. Fifteen. So this pink is effectively a match ball, barring a snooker. perfect angle if he was behind to try and pot the pink and develop the red he just wants to pot the pink he won't be going anywhere near the red and black oh. he's fluked it can you believe it oh. what a cruel Low for Marco Fu to see that pink disappear in the middle pocket. 21. 
what a way to win the UK Championship. Well, it certainly looks as if he's going to win it now with Fu needing a snooker. Fight now, please. He's a very, very strong favourite. Yellow safe, green safe. Marco needs a snooker. Oh, where's the black going? Where's the black going? Sean Murphy, 21. I don't believe that one. <laughs> Sean doesn't believe it. Right, settle down, please. Thank you. Well, what was he thinking of there? his heart rate <laughs> after fluking what is likely to be championship ball well, the cross level was always on well, he didn't have a particular if it didn't go in and the black was over the pocket Lucky Marco Fu, but Eight. very well played, Sean Murphy. But it's a shame it was decided on a fluke. But that's snooker. So Murphy, and so in the map. The Maplin UK Championship comes to the close. Not the most popular match we've ever seen in a UK final, but certainly one of the most engrossing. Murphy led 6-3. 8-6, fell behind at 9-8, but won the last two frames. It took him 6 hours 25 minutes. He takes £100,000 as first prize. Who takes 46000 as runner -up. But the only thing that matters is that Sean Murphy has beaten Marco Fu by 9 frames to 8. And the winner, receiving the gold medal, the trophy and the title, Maplin UK Champion 2008, it is Sean Murphy!